Hi, Hi folks. folks! Thanks for joining us on this video. If you're new here, I'm Willie. And I'm Sarah. We're a musician and artist who escaped suburbia and now live in a nearly 200 year old cottage on the Isle of Skye in the Scottish Highlands with our dogs, Jack Spaniels, and the newest member of our clan, Puppy Nori. This week, it's the day we've been waiting for. Join us as we take on the epic road trip from Skye to the north of England and back again to pick up our eight-week-old, crazy but adorable puppy. But how will Jack Spaniels react to no longer having Skylife Cottage and both Sarah and I all to himself? And how will Norrie settle into his new Highland home? Join, Join us, us as, as we continue. continue. Live in the sky life. Pal, where are we going? We're going to get Nori. Yes, going on an adventure. You're going to see Grandma and Granddad, and you're going to get your little brother. This is Nori's crate. It's all the uh, way strapped in place, so it won't fall on him. Don't worry. But then, Mister, we're all ready to go. Adventures. Adventures. Well, that's it. We've got all the stuff packed up. Yep. Got Jack in the back. Jack in the back. We're gonna go get Nori. It's exciting. Oh my gosh. We've got quite a long journey. We're going down to Fife today. Yep. Staying the night with your parents. Yep. Driving down across the border into England tomorrow. Mm-hmm. Going to England. Well, he doesn't like going to England. <laughs> I don't mind going to England. I just prefer it here, that's so. all. And it's a test for Yolanda Lansbury as well. Oh yeah, how comfortable yeah. this journey is going to be for us, so. We will see. Let's hope our bottoms do not regret this. Yes. Why didn't we get a dog in Portree? <laughs> <laughs> Strathmashie or Patek Falls, which is somewhere we stop often on the way up and down to Kirkcaldy. It's flipping freezing! It's really cold, it's really really cold. You can see on the other side it's all frozen. And Jack doesn't care, he's in the water. <laughs> he is not going swimming today, not if we can help it anyway. Yeah, so we'll stop here for a little while, stretch our legs, Jack will get a little wander about and then we'll get going again. Here we are, Grandma and Grandad's. We're at Grandma and Grandad's house. Oh my god, it's so nice to not have him deafening us. Deafening us, yeah. I'm sure that will change soon enough. First little step of the journey was fun. Yolanda was great. Stage one completed. Ka ching! Come on then, monkey. You're gonna go see Grandma and Grandad. It's a pretty grim night in Kakadi, and I'm just heading out to get some food. Sushi! That's what we get when we come back to Kakari. Sushi! Very excited. Now just to get home out of this rain and enjoy it. <laughs> And ramen. And dumplings. All of that is true. There's our little splurge for being back in the, the big city. The big smoke of Kirkcaldy. <laughs> the big town. <laughs> it's Nori! <laughs> so we enjoyed our sushi and spent some quality time with my parents before heading to bed to get some rest because we were up very early the following morning to take on the mega road trip from Fife 
to Cramlington, which is near Newcastle in the northeast of England, and then all the way back to the Isle of Skye, having picked up our new wee puppy, Nori. Before we head out on our epic journey to pick up Nori, yep. we just wanted to tell you about this video's sponsor. This is our first ever sponsored video, and it's by the good people over at Wild, who make natural and refillable deodorants. I've actually used their deodorant for years now. This one basically just uses whatever is cheapest at the supermarket. Yeah, it doesn't really <laughs> bother me if it works, it works, but I, I am prepared to be convinced. We don't really make New Year's resolutions, do we? No. Because they quite often get broken. They always get broken. Yeah. It's quite nice to make a small change at this time of year that mm. can actually have a positive impact on the environment. You get a refillable case, you can personalise them. Can you? Yeah. Oh cool. Because I use them already, I do already have a case, but I am notorious in this household for losing and breaking stuff. Yes, so, true. So yeah, probably good for me to have a spare. Then you get refills that they send out to you in the post and they have loads of different scents. Once they're finished, you can put them in your home compost. Oh wow, really? Yeah. I don't know if they've already got a slogan, but I'm just going to make one up, so let's go wild. It says Willie. Points for the right spelling. Well, he doesn't do instructions, so <laughs> oh, he's just going to wing this bit. What's the button for? So do you pull that down? Ah! I'm actually quite impressed. Oh, Jack's interested in this one. Sage and eucalyptus. Right, so I'm assuming you just go, is that right? And then you push the sides in. Oh, that is a satisfying click. Oh, look at that, I worked out. No instructions needed. Well, I haven't tried it yet, so I'm gonna go and try it now, and uh, I'll come back. I'm not taking you into the bathroom with me. I really like that they have natural ingredients, and there's no aluminium in it, and they also do a sensitive range, which is really good for people like me, who find a lot of deodorants irritating. Done it, I've tried it. But I'll put the t-shirt back on again. I'm sure you'll be very thankful. What do you think, Have a sniff? Oh, right, okay. <laughs> It smells good. It, it smells does. Good. It actually really does. It smells really nice. <laughs> it's the only one that I found out of all the different brands that does actually work. And we're going to need one that works because we're going to be chasing after a mad puppy for the foreseeable future. Very true. They have also sent us a trial of their refillable shower gel. We're going to give it a go and I'm very excited to try it. If you would like to give Wild a go, you can use our code SKYLIFE20 to get 20% off your first order. You can visit their site by scanning the QR code which will appear somewhere around about here now or you can follow the link in our video description below, below. let's go wild oh gosh <laughs> we spent a night in my parents house that was great and now we are going to get nori great apart from the land rover alarm going off oh yeah that wasn't at great at 3 a.m now the neighbors all know it was me if you're watching sorry are you ready? Excited? I'm excited. I'm very excited. Let's do this. It's a long journey today, I'll tell you. Yeah. Well, two actually. Let's get on. <laughs> Let's get on. The reason we travelled so far is that we wanted to make sure we were going through a breeder we could trust. Willie's friend Gavin told us about Nori's litter, the same friend who put him in touch with Jack's breeders over eight years ago. They were also based in the northeast of England. So now Willie is going to be outnumbered three to one by Geordies. Oh no! Yay! Oh no! <laughs> What's happened? We're in England! We've gone too far, we have to go back that way. Head north, can't <laughs> We've just stopped at a service station near to where we're picking up the puppy. They had a Greg's in the service station, so I had to get some stoys, a northeast delicacy, and some sausage rolls as well from Greg's because you've got to. You've got to when you're in the northeast. It's a sausage roll. For anyone who doesn't know, Greg's is a bakery chain in the UK and it's famous for its sausage rolls, especially. The original Greg's was from the place where I grew up. Everyone in the northeast has a soft spot for Greg's. Right, we're near the breeder's house now, just round the corner. And we just parked the car up and we're just getting everything desperately, frantically ready to go and get Nori. Very excited. Oh, it's a grey day in Northumberland, isn't it, pups? Grey and gloomy. Come on, pups. Got to go meet your new brother now. And you have slobber all over your face. Excellent. Come on. Come on, Mickey. This way. This way. So this will be Nori's bed. We don't know if we're going to put him in this at all for the journey back. We think Sarah's just going to hold on to him in the front. But if there's a problem with that, if he's wriggling too much or whatever, we may have to put him in here. And then obviously Jack here at the back as well. So the two of them will be together, but obviously there's bars in the way. So 
Norrie's away from him. Not that Jack would be a nightmare or anything, but it's just better to be safe than sorry, of course. So here we are, we're just ready now to go and pick up the dog, and uh, exciting times ahead. This will actually be hooked in. I've got lots of these heavy duty cable tie clip things. I'm going to put them right along the thing there as well, and a ratchet strap as well to make sure that this isn't going to move at all, and so both of them will be comfortable and safe. So excited, so nervous. Let's do this. Hey, Norrie! Is this is a little bundle of joy. Hiya, pal. Oh, baby. You're so cute. And this is mum and dad down here having fun. And this is, what was his name? Spud. Spud. Oh, he's got the shoes, I see. Always. Hi, Spud. Little brother. And this is Nori. He's a little lump, isn't he? Oh, yeah. Yeah. oh he's quiet for now. Quiet We're for now. We're going to the Isle of Skye, Nori. Oh, my gosh. It's a long way, but Mummy's going to hold you the whole way. Yeah, we're going to look after you. Are you eating my shoes? Uh-oh, there's some shoe-eating shoe action. Hiya, pal. <laughs> oh, everyone wants to be involved. Hiya. Oh, they are just so adorable. They are. Right, I'll stop filming now. What have you got? I've got a puppy. Hiya. Hi, Nori. Oh, He's adorable. Oh, baby. My second little baby. Yeah, I'm gonna go around the back and make a fuss of Jack. Yeah. Right, we're signing off as YouTubers now and we are now parents until we get back to Sky. And then YouTubing will resume. <laughs> Bye everyone. I stopped briefly in the village of Dunkeld as my friend Andrew was there by chance. Andrew took these photos of us all together before we carried on with our long journey back to the Isle of Skye. It is the next day after our incredibly long car journey. journey yeah. That was a bit of a mission, but it, it was, was worth it just to get home. And this is Nori. There he is. This is the new addition to Skylife. And this is Jack Spaniels. He's still a little bit apprehensive of Nori, I think. You think he's just a little bit standoffish at the moment because we're just yeah. getting our boundaries. So he's not exactly in normal, you know, <laughs> bounding around self. But that will come. He's got to sort of establish himself as the boss because he's the first dog. And it will all happen naturally. There have been a couple of little growls. Yeah. When we got back late last night, we obviously decided not to film because we just wanted to focus on these guys and making sure they were comfortable. So we introduced them really gradually with Nori in his crate. And then when it all seemed to go pretty well, we let him out and let them just establish their own boundaries. And Nori doesn't seem to give two hoots. No, Nori doesn't care. Actually, Jack was the one that was a bit more sort of standoffish yeah. last night. There's been a couple of just little, like, you know, he's just setting the boundaries and that's normal. So today, um, it's been really quite encouraging. And the next thing we're gonna do is take them out to the garden for the first time, Yeah. which I'm sure is gonna be interesting, <laughs> but we'll see how it goes. If anyone's wondering, I got to name Nori because you got to name Jack Daniels. Yeah. After Jack Daniels because he's black with a white patch on the front. White patch. It's like the label of Jack Daniels with the black <laughs> label and the white writing. So it was my turn to name the puppy. We settled on Nori because first and foremost, it's one of the dwarves in The Hobbit. Of course. Of course. But what we quite like about it is that that name came from the Norse sagas originally. Mm -hmm. And it was a dwarf in the Norse sagas, which means little scrap, which I think is perfect. <laughs> Apart from the fact the little scrap is just really, really cute for a name. Also, this area is so heavily steeped in Norse history. And this glen at one point would have been completely occupied by Vikings. So we thought that that's quite fitting as well for here. Yeah. And also, I really love sushi. Oof. And the black seaweed that goes around the outside of the sushi is called nori mm -hmm. as well. So that's pretty fitting because we're hoping he's going to be a water dog just like Jack and love going down to the beach. Yeah, soon you're going to go for walkies and you're going to stay here with your dad and then we'll all have a nice, calm, relaxing evening together. I hope. <laughs> nori, do you want to go outside with Jack? Okay. Come on, Nori. Yeah. We go outside. Come on. Come on. Good boy. Knows his name already. Clever dog. Come on. Come on. 
Come on, Nori. Come on. Let's go. Hey, yeah. This way. Good boy. This is the hammock, Nori. You won't go on that. No, this is where we sit in the summer time. Look at that. Jack's having a drink. Nori's having a play. Nori, this conversation about the not eating the grass. You're not keen, are you? Is it going to be your way, is it? Right, okay, okay, okay. Nah, ah, no. Going back across the bridge. Come on then. Come on. Oh, Jack's going first, as usual. Nori, going across the bridge. And the bridge. Well done. Good boy. You're a good boy too. Yes, you are. Do you want to go around the back, Pops? Where's your mum? Good boy, Jack. Go on, Nori. First dog walk around the garden yeah. under the Land Rover. Nori, come this way. Good boy. Good boy. Hey Jack, where's Nori? Your little brother. That's right, he's over there. You gonna go and see your brother? Yes. Oh, he's got your stick. That's it, pups. We're finished. We're back to the start. Jack's thinking that was not a long enough walk, guys. No, you're going out for a walk next, aren't you, pal? Yes. You're going out for a walk with mummy. And daddy's stay here with Nori. Hey, yeah. Hey, We're trying to do as best we can to distribute the affection between both the dogs so there isn't resentment. Jack's had a little couple of, not like proper barking, but just like little growls towards Nori, just to say that he's the top of the barking order. See, just like that. <laughs> That's just saying, this yeah, is my stick. stick. I'm the big boy. Don't go for Jack's stick. As you can see, like, the tail's going on both dogs. So for the first time outside, this is a really good interaction. This oh. early on. Oh, you're brave, Nori. <laughs> Not that brave. You're going to take the big one out for a walk? Yes. Okay. Hey, little dude. You're so cute. And this one too. He's so cute. He's so cute, but he just wants to play with this stick. I'll tell you what though, Jack, what do you reckon? Go for walkies? That was encouraging, wasn't it? Yeah, that was so much fun. You did the perimeter of your new home. This is where Nori lives now. Absolutely. And we think he's gonna love it. We definitely do. And you can't take dogs into public places when they're this young. You can let them in a private garden if there's no other dogs here. And obviously he's exposed to that dog that's sitting growling over there. Jack Spaniels, that's his brother. But Jack's inoculated and he's wormed and everything, so it should be fine. And I really think it's important that Nori gets to grips with outdoors because he is going to be a very outdoors dog. So we've had him out in the garden for the first time and it's been a great success. So I'm Yeah, chuffed. he's loving it. I don't think he's quite worked out that this is where he's supposed to go to the toilet yet. No. Because we've had a couple of little accidents on the floor. Yes. But we'll get there. But that's all normal. But yeah, that was encouraging. Good times. <laughs>
this? What's this? Yeah. You want a duck? There we go. Good boy. That's nice, isn't it? Huh? That's nicer to choose in daddy's fingers. Excuse me, Nori, where are you going? Nori, come out. Reverse mode. You've got very sharp little clauses and little sharp little teeth. Oh, don't go for my snores. Your big brother was just the same. He was a little monster just like you, with the little sharp teeth. Oh, a little monster with sharp teeth. It'll definitely be interesting the first time we bring Nori down here because as you can see there's so many holes in the ground lots of sort of sinkholes where it's collapsed into the water and Jack is pretty good at dodging them he's got pretty good reflexes but occasionally he does get taken by surprise in fact we often get taken by surprise I've even gone down into a hole full of water which fortunately didn't go over my welly but uh yeah, puppies have slightly less coordination than fully grown spaniels, so that's going to be interesting. We'll have to keep a close eye on him. Does that mean you want to go swimming? It's quite mild today, so it should be okay. Oh dear, I think it sank again. Sorry, pups. We still haven't quite worked out what these bubbles are when the high tide comes in. I think it must be just pockets of air underground being released, but just not quite sure how. It's very strange. Ah! Oh, thanks, Jack. Is that payback for losing your stick? Oh. Right, come on then, find you a new stick. Where's the bubbles, pups? No, Jack doesn't know where they are either. Come on, Nori. Good boy. I spy a Nori asleep on the sofa. How was your walk with Jack? It was good. Yeah. We had lots of fun. Hey, Uncle. Did we have a nice time? You did lots of swimming. There's one contented dog mum with a puppy on her tummy, a little spaniel in front of her, and a glass of <laughs> Buck's Fizz behind her. Yeah. Okay, <sighs> and that's the end of a day. Day one completed. Mummy and puppy wiped out. You having breakfast?
Well, we're back from Northumberland, but we brought a part of it back with us in the form of these stotties. Stotty cakes, which are big flat bread buns, essentially. Mm -hmm. We're having them with sausage, so we've got lots of interest from both puppies. Mm -hmm. Jack Spaniels is right at my feet and... Nori is chewing my boot. Nori's chewing her boot. He hasn't quite learnt the value of the sausage yet. Not quite. Well, he, he knows. He knows. He was sniffing around a minute ago. So we're going to have this and we're just listening to the radio this morning to Sky Radio because Carol Horton came to interview us and we're going to be on the radio this morning. So we're going to just sit and listen to that and uh, that should be fun and eat our breakfast. Cheers. Stotty cakes like. <laughs> <laughs> pretty worn out from our long journey, plus two days of puppy antics, so we spent Sunday enjoying the garden with Jack and Nori. While Nori seems to be getting the hang of the bridge, we need to have a word with him about not breaking the fourth wall. Is he alright? <laughs> He's fine. Oh, the puppy's fine. Yeah. Are you guys in there okay? Sorry about that, guys. <laughs> Look at me a bit little clean there. Uh -oh. Sorry about that, guys. Uh -oh. The puppy just wiped you out. <laughs> <laughs> just ran straight into it. Come on then. Nori, up. Jack, show him. Good boy. That's how Jack does it. Cover boy. Okay. Up the steps, Nori. Oh, Hello. now you're just showing off, Jack. One bound. Hi. Nori, Hi. monkey. Hi. Here you go. Okay, we've had him for two days, and he can already get up the steps of the shed and probably fall off. Right, that back down. Oh, back down. Right, down we come. Come on, gentle, gently does um, it. This might He's be a bit unsure. Point. Go to mum. Go to mum. Go on. Good boy. Keep going. Keep going. Keep going. Keep going. Oh, graceful. Graceful. Well, it worked. It'll get better. <laughs> Just soft grass under there. It's really soft. Yeah. So it's fine. Hey, puppy. That was fun, wasn't it? You climbed the steps and went back down almost by yourself. Good boys. Good boys. Thank you, sleeper. Sounds like me. <laughs> True. Jack's not sure. <laughs> How's that about? It's Nori snoring, Jack. Nori snoring. <laughs> What's going on here? I'm stitching Nori's little mattress because, well, little, not little enough. So I've cut them in half, as you can see, and I'm now stitching them up so that he doesn't pull it all apart. So yeah, this, this is an effort to uh, stop him from pooping on his mattress. You're very domesticated. I'm a domestic goddess. <laughs> there we go. All stitched up. All done. Half the size mattress for Nori. There we are. I think that looks pretty good. Nori, what do you think? Come and use it. What's in here? Look, how's that? You happy? You look very cute. He's just been out swimming in the barn. Accidentally. Accidentally, but still. That's cool, man. Looks good. That's a thumbs up from Nori. It's a momentous occasion. Day two of having the puppy in the house. And what just happened? Well, this is Jack's safety seat. He jumps up here and then he's got no puppy around and no fuss. So he's up here and he's safe. However, I decided I wanted a cuddle. So I got in the seat first before he jumped up. Then he jumped up and he sat on the lap. I was giving him a cuddle. He was here for what, 15 minutes or so? Mm -hmm. And then all of a sudden he jumped down and then got in my seat on the sofa. First time that Jack has voluntarily got onto the same item of furniture as Nori.
we feel like this is the first stage in acceptance. It's progress. Also, Nori is snoring, which is absolutely adorable. So basically, the new way of things is Sarah and the dogs have the sofa all to themselves. Willie gets the chair over there by himself. Yeah? Hi, everyone. Sound good? Well, that's what it is. Happy with this situation? Happy is a very strong <laughs> word. <laughs> It'll do for now. It'll do for now. Apologies for the chaos, guys. There is all the stuff we took to Fife, oh, plus yeah. a Santa hat, plus kitchen roll for all the inevitable accidents, plus a Christmas tree. Plus eye bags. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Many towels hanging off every single door because we now have two spaniels to dry and pick up after. And they're so damn cute. Do you think we could just do a half hour video of Nori snoring? I think it would probably be our most successful video of all time. What do you think, guys? Answer in the comments below. <laughs> if we get enough comments, we'll just do a video of Nori snoring. Yeah. Just a collage. A snoring montage. You know what? Seriously, that probably would do better than all our videos. <laughs> Definitely the cutest thing. Apart from when Jack snores, because he's also very cute when he snores. Of course he is. Thank you so much for watching our video. We really hope you enjoyed it and you enjoyed meeting Nori for the first time. Here he is. Ow! Little bitey monster. <laughs> if you did enjoy it, please do leave us a like, a comment, or subscribe to our channel if you don't already. It helps us out, it's free to do, and it's just a really cool thing. If you did enjoy the video and you want to support the channel, you can do so over on Kofi. You can buy us a coffee, which we really need because we're pretty much running on caffeine right now. <laughs> or you can buy Jack, or Nori, or both a wee treat. <laughs> if you want to support the channel more long term, you can become one of our amazing patrons over on Patreon where you get lots of extra content for helping us out each month. My single These Old Walls is still available over on Bandcamp if you want to pick up a copy there. Thanks so much if you've already bought a copy, it really inspires me to make more music for you guys. And if you want to buy any of my prints, including the painting I did of Skylife Cottage, for these old walls, you can head over to my Etsy store now. Links to all of our pages and the website for Wild Deodorant if you want to give that a try are in the video description. Whoa! <laughs> Thanks again for watching and we will see you next week! A normal one! <laughs> we can't do anything! <laughs> I can't jump out of shop. So oh, no, you hit my chin! Ow. You your chin! No worry, and hand. No. What's this? Oh, no. Play with this. Paint your toy. Ah, not my jumper. <laughs> not my good jumper. Oh god, I'm getting changed. I'm out of here. <laughs> I'm out of here. We're done. <laughs> We're leaving our suburban life. Moving over the sea to sky. Are we chasing a dream? I guess in time we will see when we're living the sky life. Living the sky life. This is gonna be fun. This is gonna be fun. How many bloopers right. are gonna go? Ow! There's a blooper. Ow! And another. Nori, stop eating the grass. Oh, stop eating my phone. Good boy. Good boy. Oh, what's that? There's a camera. Or you could buy Jack or Nori a tweet. A tweet? <laughs> a tweet. <laughs> Hiya. <laughs> hey, finger. <laughs> That's my finger. Nori. Oh, no. No, Nori. No. No. <laughs> Don't eat that. Don't eat that. Please. <sighs> Story of our lives. What are you doing here? No, you won't buy milk in there, mate. Thanks again for watching, and we will see you. Am I cute when I snore? No. <laughs> Sarah snores like a wildebeest. A herd of wildebeest trampling over a plane. And she's like <laughs> way up the tree of snoring. Human ingenuity, our extraordinary mm. ability to find hey. solutions, gives oh, me. You're filming me. You're yeah. sleeping. Willy, wild Willy. Wild Willies. <laughs> wild. Willie. <laughs> Ready? Go. Go on. Get it. Come get it. <laughs> Go on. Where's your toy? Where's your toy? <sighs>
Never work with children and animals, eh? Click here to subscribe to live in the sky life. Click here to go back to the start of our adventures with our very first episode.